Hello from Tokyo! Today I'm going to do a swipe but on a split base so one side will be oxide black and the other side titanium white. The colors I'm using are the same as last time, turquoise green, Prussian blue phthalo, light gold and primary magenta and these are all mixed with a two parts Floetrol and one part paint plus a little bit of water to thin it out to the right consistency and these three colors have got a little bit of silicone they have four drops of silicone in them each so I am going to put the colors down uh, using this funnel it's actually broken so it's more like an open cup pour but I just like how the colors blend together before doing the swipe over them I'm going to use this plastic, their folders, to swipe with and this is the consistency of the base paint. I don't know if you can see the black very well but perhaps better on the white. And once I've laid down these base colors, I'm going to thin those paints out so they're ready for swiping with. I really want them to be thinner. This is some water that I have ready. So yep, yeah, I'll be thinning out the white and black. So let's put down the base paint. Don't forget to torch all the bubbles, pop them and then thin down that paint as I was saying with the water so it's prepared and then it's time to lay down these colors using the funnel or an open cup. This is really pretty just as it is with a split base open cup or funnel pour without it being stretched out as well. I quite like it just as it is. So in the first cup or funnel I had um, the order was primary magenta and then turquoise, but this time primary magenta and then the Prussian blue phthalo. So you can see the difference it makes. Over on this side, I'm going to do the opposite. So light gold, primary magenta, and then Prussian blue phthalo, and then the turquoise green. And then when I fill it again, I will put turquoise green after the primary magenta. See what I mean about it being kind of pretty as it is like this? <laughs> so that might be something to play around with. I'm tilting the canvas here to try and spread the paint out a bit more. Um, but I realized here that perhaps I should have done this a little bit more linear, uh, maybe um, horizontally. So you can fill up any of the gaps with extra paint, whichever color you feel is missing from the canvas. And then it's time to do our first swipe. So I'm going to do the white swipe first. So this is the same as the last painting, painting number 40, but I wanted to do it on the same canvas so you could see the difference between the different color swipes. I haven't sped this part up in the edit because I wanted you to see it in real time speed that is going very slowly it's so pretty we already knew this if you've watched video number 40 i think then you'd know the result how pretty it is with the white swipe so now i'm going to try this with the black so same colors underneath just using the oxide black thinned down With the base color on this side being white, I feel like the colors underneath are brighter for some reason. And the middle part here, I don't know if you noticed, but I had color in between the black and the white, and I thought I'd do something fun with it and it didn't quite work out. So I've just removed it with a paper towel 
and applying more of the black paint down and just tapping off any color I don't want um, that's showing through. I'm just going to blow out the edges a bit to soften and then let's have a look at the wet finish. So super interesting that the white swipe side looks kind of squished at the top, can you tell? Whereas the left side, the black swipe side, has kind of almost boulder-like cells at the top. So that additional black that I put down the middle has really squished to the right. But still, look at that, it's so pretty. I think the white swipe makes it look like things are underwater or something like that. You know, it's got this sort of reflection feel to it. So I guess this side picks up a bit of the black base color too coming through, as you can see from that gold part. That looks like a turtle there. I just thought I saw a turtle or a tortoise. Really love the white swipe. I, I just know I like that anyway. So we'll have to have a look at how different this is when we swipe with the black over a white base. So let's move on to the other side. On this side, you can immediately see parts that are white as well. So the base is coming through. The shapes of the cells are completely different to what happened on the other side. I thought I was gonna get more like a stained glass effect over here with the black, but this is really pretty. I'm wondering if my black paint was thin enough. If it was thinner, maybe it would have had the same kind of lacing as the white, possibly. I actually really love it. I think it's really cool. I like the way it's turned out. Look at that when you compare the two, so different. I think I'd like to try the white base black swipe again on its own, but anyway, this is an experiment. So let's have a look at the dried version of the painting. So you can immediately tell that this side, the white swipe side, has much smaller uh, lacing, fine lacing. And on the black side, the black swipe side, has also got fine lacing down the bottom, but up here, they're much bolder, bigger cells, puffy looking cells. Let's go in for a closer look. There it is. Can you see the accidental tortoise turtle thing there? <laughs> Oh, it's really dried nice. I think I'm always going to like uh, swiping with white, especially this thin swipe paint. Okay, let's go and have a look at the other side as well. Let's go in for a closer look. Okay, so looking at it closely, this side, some of the cells are really tiny. Hmm, it's interesting. They're all kind of different. And this actually reminds me of a, I think it was called a fiery lava pour or something that I did a while back. Same kind of effect. There's a variety of sizes and shapes here. Hmm, it's so different. Even how the paint has dispersed within each cell it's really interesting mm, yeah definitely want to do this one again there's a little bit of a shimmer from the light gold i think this will be fun to do with other metallics as well maybe uh, some of the pebeo metallics if i bring in the other painting the painting before this one with the white swipe on the black background. Uh, because the swipe was a longer swipe, the bottom part had no lacing, whereas these other two swipes from today are shorter swipes. So the lacing goes right to the bottom, as you can see there. Actually, it's interesting, the one from the day before has larger, larger lacing, almost closer to this one. 
I think it's because it was a little bit thicker. The, the swipe paint was a bit thicker. Which side did you prefer? Do you have a preference for swiping with the white paint or the black paint? You know, what color base would you like to use and swipe over? I hope this gave you some ideas to experiment with. So thank you so much for watching as always and see you next time. Bye.